Welcome back, my Finians, to an all-new episode of Finwin playing on Banished. Now, I've done a little work off-camera, as you can see by the fact that I have ended up queuing up a bunch of buildings. I know I keep saying I'm, I'm going to stop that, but I can't help it. I want to build, and it takes so long. Come on, hurry up. So, some of the stuff I built was I put in a new hunting cabin. I put in a gatherer's hut because that gets us more wood or food. I've got a forester and my herbalist already done. And I've put in another house here on my little intersection. I've also, down this way over here, I added some roads to connect all this together. And I've put another house right there. So, as you can see, I'm not really slowing down. I'm, as usual, speeding up. Now... Is that just food sitting out on the hill? It's because it's full, isn't it? It's full. It's full. 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 No, not full. Put some food in there, you numb nuts. Come on, people. God, they're not very bright, are they? <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully they're putting food in there instead of just leaving it sitting outside. But that's not it, not going too bad. The reserve of stone is low. Of course the reserves, reserve of stone is low. I just finished the cemetery. And I've got all these houses to build. So I sent them off also to gather the stone up here in these fields. Because they're close to a road. And as you can see they're out here just chopping away. And because I'm going to need it for all this stuff. So we're going to have another little outpost of houses over here. We'll connect through these roads. In fact, I should go ahead and do that now. Let's do that now. Let's let's connect our roads, shall we? La la la, connect the dots. La 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 la, connect the dots. That way. And then... Oh, and I did... I, I was trying not to do that. I was trying really hard not to have my road be at an angle. Did you see that? I did it anyways. I can't quite make out... The road... Oh, well. It's a windy road. We'll just have to live with it. So, yeah, we got a road going there. So, we'll have some buildings out here. Because, as you can see, the edge of that is right there on that road. So, we could put some... And the edge on this one is right here. So, all this area here can be cleared. In fact, let's do that. Let's remove everything. Let's see. Is it... Not remove structure. It's remove resources. Remove resources. Let's just clear this whole area out, shall we? Because I think that goes, yeah, right there. And then that one goes, yeah. So let's remove all this stuff. And that'll help me also keep uh, straight where the edge is. So that's pretty much what we've got going on. We've got some houses being built, nothing special really. We're starting to get more people. Hey, look at all these people. Let's get some workers going here. There you go. Oh, look at how few hunters. I need more hunters. Boy, do I need more hunters. We'll take a builder away because our projects are getting smaller. So there we go. Yeah. Let's do this thing. So I hope that you're enjoying this uh, this little series that I got going on. I'm getting a little further into it. Uh, I know that there was advice from my friend Necro on being careful about the nomads and not having them uh, take up too much food and definitely want to pay attention to that, uh, how much we're producing, how much we're using. And at this point, it might actually be a little risky to bring in the nomads without additional food. But I think we've got the makings of more food with our orchard on the way and we've put in more, more hunters, etc. Oh, uh, a teacher died of old age, and they've been... So, Hella is a teacher. Annabella... Oh, Annabella's a great teacher name. So, Annabella, the teacher, is dead. And Haley is now the teacher... No, wait. No, Haley died, and Annabella is the teacher. Got it. Okay, so now we're filling in our... Well, why aren't they going in the graveyard? I thought this was full. 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 And they're not going in the graveyard. Huh. They should be going in the graveyard. Oh well. So yeah, we're getting mighty far but mighty far along here. We've got a bit of clearing to do. We need stone. We need our buildings. Oh, hey, look, our hunting cabin is going there. So they'll take care of some some peoples or some of these uh see all these deer over here? They're gonna take care of those deer. 
We got the houses being built. That'll help uh, give them something. We're going to want to put more houses along the road here. The reason for the houses is so that as people travel along here, they have somewhere to go to get warm. See, I meant to... I was trying not to do that, too. See how that that's all curvy? I didn't want that curvy. I wanted a straight line. Oh, well. So one thing I'm thinking about also is putting some more uh, farms in and putting them on the other side of the water. Maybe we, we could we put one right here. Uh, just have pockets of farms with buildings between them. And I think that's what we need to do, to be honest. But I want to also get some different crop types. So I think the next thing we're definitely going to build once we get our, our uh, people's filling rolls here is that we will probably start working on building our trading posts. So that's going to be our goal for next time, I think. Uh, definitely want to get more people going here. But I really, once the builders are done with these houses, I can get started on that and then just leave one builder to work on it. So, hey, we got a new labor. Lord, what should we do here? We've got kind of low on herbalist, but really low on force, but we're not hurting on wood. Um, let's send them... Yeah, we'll just do that. I just got to keep an eye on and make sure that we got a good balance going. We've got 18 babies, 16 students, and 66 adults. Our adult level is... Our, our max, you know, like the number of adults we have is steadily growing, but we really need to get, we've got a few more houses queued up. We've got this one and then this one up here. I think I had one or two, one. So I got one there and one down there. Ooh, froze up. One up there, one down there. That should help a little bit with our houses. Um, I wish I'd made that graveyard a little bigger now that I put that road in, <laughs> but I'm definitely not tearing that down. I don't want to lose my resources. So, it has been another day, or another winter. We've made it into spring. Our orchard's doing nicely. We're not yielding yet, but we've got... We need more farmers, for sure. Ah, oh, come on. Grow up. Get out of school. Alright, so a hunter died and has been replaced. Ah, uh, I hate doing that, but... I guess I could take a fisherman away, but I want to... They're just planting right now. That's all they're doing. Planting. They're planting. How's our orchard doing? We're gonna have apples. Them apples. Oh, our apples, our tree, our apple trees have grown. Awesome, they're producing. So let's increase our food limit. I'm gonna go ahead and increase it up to 20,000. I think we need to also put in another place for food to go to. I think right here maybe. That's not a bad place. I, I thought I was thinking about putting another graveyard here as well. We got this empty lot. But I'm not sure where I want to put another storage barn. These two keep filling up pretty quick. This one, look how full they are already. I mean, we're just filling up. We're filling up the storage barns. The house is coming along here. Another one's been done. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, no, it hasn't been done, but we're going too soon. So I think we're going to stop here. We got some more houses done. We've got uh, some clearing going on up here. Let's see how that progress is moving along. They have not cleared it yet. You guys suck at this. You realize this? Man, villagers, slackers. Even though I only have one of them. They're still slacker. Total slacker. So yeah. We're moving right along. I hope you guys are enjoying. I'd love any advice you have. Um, I appreciate the advice about the nomads. Definitely want to be careful about that and pay attention to what my food production level is at that point and whether we can sustain them. I've never done a nomads before. I've never had them come in before. Uh, so I'm not really sure how many come in, how much food they eat, you know, are their kids and yeah, we'll see what happens. So I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe, become a Finian today, and I will see you guys next time for another episode of Banished. Bye everybody.